in 1928, Alexander Fleming, a doctor, working at St. Mary's Hospital in Paddington, London, made the discovery of what today we call antibiotics, and in particular, one which was called penicillin. Fleming worked at St. Mary's Hospital Paddington. Today, his laboratory, which we can see in the background here, is actually a museum. So if you're ever in London, go to Paddington on the underground, and the museum is a short distance from there. Fleming had been on holiday, and on the 3rd of September, 1928, he came back to his laboratory, which we can see up here, where he had been growing uh, a bacterium called Staphylococcus. Staphylococcus causes very serious infections, particularly in wounds that soldiers get. In this plate here, this would be like Fleming's plates, and the color that you can see is actually caused by a film of Staphylococcus growing on the Petri dish and in the jelly on the Petri dish. Fleming noticed that of the uh, Petri dishes he had left in his laboratory during his holiday, something strange occurred. In this photograph here of Fleming's plate, we can see here the Staphylococcus, but we can also see in the center something different. And this is in fact a fungus. What Fleming noticed was that close to the fungus, the bacteria could not grow. With his observation, Fleming hypothesized, he had a scientific idea, that the fungus might be producing a chemical which was coming out and killing the bacteria. That would be important in medicine. Fleming repeated his work, making many, many plates like this one here and putting fungus on them. And he collected more and more evidence to support his hypothesis that the fungus was producing a molecule that killed Staphylococcus. Fleming called his chemical fungal juice for a few weeks, but later gave it a proper scientific name of penicillin, one which we would recognize today as one of the important antibiotics. Antibiotics are not vaccines. They are chemicals which we can inject into our cells which kill bacteria. It had to wait until 1940 though, when Howard Florey and Ernst Chain developed methods of producing penicillin in large quantities uh, for this to become used in medicine. And this happened round about 1944 for the end of the Second World War. In 1945, all three scientists were, were, were awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine. Fleming's discovery is one of the outstanding discoveries of the 20th century.